Let's take a quick look at local Vikings white label reporting. Now to get started, white label reporting is only available to pro counts and above. If you are on a starter plan, you can still use the entire reporting suite. You just won't be able to use your logo or domain. If you'd like to get written instructions for this video, simply click right here on the read the instructions for more details link. That's going to open up this article right here and you can kind of read it at your own pace. Now to get started adding your own white label configuration, you're going to click this button right here, the add new configuration button. Once we go through it, you'll see that you'll add a domain that you can send reports from via email, as well as have a domain that your clients will visit the reporting URL so they only see your logo and branding. Once you've added a white label configuration, you can tell if it has been successful by seeing a blue check mark right here next to your domain. If you didn't properly configure the white label configuration, you will see this warning sign next to this red square. Now go ahead and click the add new configuration button. And the first thing you're going to see is this public access link or the switch. This is essentially going to be your on and off switch for the configuration. So if you have a client that stops paying you and you're sending reports underneath this brand that we're going to create right now, you can always come back in here, turn this off and the reports will no longer be available. We are going to auto generate an organization name for you based off of your organization name in the local Viking platform. In this case, you can see I auto-generated traffic runners 8 because I've already auto-generated 1 through 7. If you don't have a pro account or if you just don't want to use the white label reporting functionality, your reports are going to be available via this traffic runners or whatever your organization is dot orgs dot local biking dot com. When you select default on a configuration, that means that when we create a report, that is going to be the default host or the default configuration that we use. You can only have one white label configuration set as default at any given time. So if I had one set previously before this and then I turn this on, this would be the new default reporting configuration. White label domain, this is where you'll actually put your domain. So you should use a subdomain here. Let's say that I was using reporting.mydomain.com I would put that in here and then I would just simply go and set a CNAME record at my registrar and point that to stats.localviking.com if you need a little bit more help with that just click this article here and that should get you started then I could come in and I can put in my brand I will also put in my email the domain is automatically going to be the domain that you use here. So if you use reporting.mydomain.com, then your email is whatever you put in for the first part, and it'll be at myreporting.domain.com. Uh, the primary color is just going to be used for the nav bar, and that can be to allow you to use your branding or your branding's color. And then we can go ahead and add our logo. So we just simply choose browse, and we choose to upload our logo, and then we'll click done. Now, once we have a white label configuration created, you'll go to the reports tab and you can hop over to the report configuration video. But the very first thing that we'll select there is a white label configuration and that will allow you to create a report that uses this domain. 